All right, guys, what is going on? This is the VF Baller, and this is the VF Cast channel. Uh, I know that uh, I got a couple of topics I want to talk about. I'm going to get into that shortly. But first and foremost, every Sunday I used to do a VF Cast, which was a podcast talking about everything that's been going on throughout the week. I think I'm going to pull back to that and do twice a month. And I can give an overall summary of everything that's been going on throughout the gaming world because I love making these smaller videos where I like I drive in the car headed home or when I make a video about picking up uh you know uh games or when I go to my retro gaming stores or or just other topics that I feel I need to be discussed right away. So I'm gonna still do those but I want to do an overall video to or, or overall podcast where I talk about those type of things and I want to do that twice a month. So the VF cast name is going to still be uh prominent. It's going to make sense because I just want to do those episodes twice a month now where I could do an overall uh like I said summary of what's been going on throughout the month. So uh other than that, let's get into this. Two topics I want to talk to talk about really fast. Um, first and foremost, the Saints Row community manager. Now, I talked about Saints Row before when I talked about possibly picking the game up and also talking about the new GTA don't want to be like Saints Row. Well, the community manager is doing some really weird things, and uh, I don't really want to put her name out there. I do think she has a really cool Twitter handle. I like, I like her Twitter hand handle, but to me, it seems like she and Frost pretty much, you know, they're like almost like the same person or something like that. Or they've been their buddies or something. Cause they're they're going after fans. Like, why would you do that as a community manager? You know, um, I was really inclined to buy this game. And I know with all the issues and the problems and people were telling me when I made the video about Saints Row, like don't buy the game. I still wanted to try it in some form of fashion. So I was gonna give it a shot. Now I'm at the point now I don't want to play the game at all. I don't wanna be in into a you know a transaction to where the other person on the other side of the transaction don't care about how I may or, or what I may or may not feel about a game or just basically belittling and disrespecting their fans. Um, I had this issue before with other games, and I'm like, why would I spend my money? I don't care how good the game is. I, I mean, there's, there's so many other games to play. I'm not going to deal with that. And it, it's kind of it kind of sucks because the game is just not as good to begin with. From what people are saying, it's like now people are like really giving it the business, you know. And I, I'm not sure that Saints Row will come out with a sequel or another game. I will be highly surprised if they did because the backlash of this game is like really, really crazy. And um, that's just on the game alone. And it doesn't help matters that the community manager is doing stuff like this. I don't think that. People really are paying attention to what's going on, like with G4 TV and uh, with all this other stuff that's going on with that and how that just basically collapsed. I mean, it was destined to fail, but with all the other stuff that's been going on with G4 TV, it just accelerated it. It made it faster to, you know, to happen. So uh, basically, um, this isn't a, a, a disaster because we don't have to deal with I don't think we as gamers need to deal with stuff like this. The main thing is just make a good game. And if we like it, we'll let you know. If we don't like it, it's, you know, we'll let you know as well. You know, it's, it, it makes no sense when a community manager is supposed to be the face of the company or like the liaison from one, from the company to the fans, really would talk and treat people a certain way. You know, I, I get it. If you're being harassed and all this other stuff, that's one thing. But when you are going after people for their opinions or they don't like what the product that you put out, you know, that's really a, that's really a, a yeah, I don't really want to say it, but it's a really effed up thing. You know, it's, it's just something that, that really needs to be fixed within the community because we're the customers at the end of the day. We're the consumers. We're the ones that put money in the, your guys' pocket. It, or we give you the glory and the fame if you make a good product. If you put out good content, you get the glory and the fame if that happens. And if you just don't want it, you know, you're not going to get it. And it, it, it's really uh, disheartening at the end of the day. And I just really feel that something needs to change in that aspect. And I think the best way to change is not to support stuff like this. Shout out to everybody who are way bigger than me as far as YouTube that are actually putting stuff out there and letting people know what's going on with this community manager because it, it you know, it's really going to, uh, it's really going to render um, the company. I don't even know what the name of the company. It was like deep silver or something like that. I don't even know. Cause I haven't really been paying attention, 
but it really is going to it's really going to give people that notion like no we don't want to mess with them anymore we don't want to mess with this company and and deal with any of their games and i think the saints road name has just been tarnished because the first well at least the first two games were actually really good uh three and four eh, uh, reboot that that can go somewhere but now the community manager has hired they, they hit the tweet tweets they're they're protecting their tweets or whatever the case may be and you know you know when you when, when when stuff like that happens you know it's a big problem i mean you know when they do that they know they messed up and uh it is what it is. I I just hope that gamers will find the game that they're looking for. Hopefully, GTA Six or any other game of that nature that has that type of um, that format. I hope they find their way because people love those type of games. Those open world type of games are really cool and and is is even better when they kind of push the limits a little bit. And then I'm. I mean, that's another story that I talked about before. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that with this day and age and how everybody's outraged about everything nowadays. You know, rock stars almost dealing with that now, but that's another story for another day. All right, before I get out of here, um, I want to talk about Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to say that's the game that's getting... Uh, let me see. I want to make sure. I don't know. I don't think it's Forbidden West. I think it's Horizon Zero Dawn is actually getting a remake. They're to get him a remaster. Why? Somebody tell me what? Why Horizon Zero Dawn is getting a remaster? They literally came out what three, four years ago. See, the problem with this is you got you got these companies that just want to cash in on stuff. You know, you already had the Uncharted, uh, I think Uncharted Legacy Edition, which got a remake with uh, Uncharted Four Lost Legacy. Why? I don't know. Last of Us. Why? Why? I don't know. And, you know, people were, like, caping for this. And now once these games have come out, they're like, uh, I'm having fun with the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Like, why are they doing this? It's like, it's not anything that's, you know, a big leap to say, hey, this is cool. Like, when Resident Evil 2 was remade or remade, you know, when it was remade, I know it's a difference between remade and remastered. We don't have to go through all that, I know. But when those games were remastered or remade, there was a big leap. You know, um, The Last of Us, yes, graphically, it was a big leap. But I think I saw a video from Scott DeWaz or whatever the case may be, and he was saying, like, The Last of Us, you could put the PS4 version into a PS5, and with the PS5, it's going to look almost just as good as the PS5 remake. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I believe it, because when you put PS4 games in a PS5, I mean, they look phenomenal. They look great. You know what I mean? So I, I get it. I mean, that's something that's not really a, you know, a big deal. Same thing with Uncharted 4. Because all those games on the PS4 jumps up the one, um, jumps up to 60 frames, and they look really good. And um, I think Uncharted 4 had a 1440p mode already. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't remember. I played the game on PS4. I haven't played on PS5. And I was highly upset with the Uncharted Legacy Collection when I did purchase the PS5 version and when I put the game in, all my uh, trophies from the PS4 just unlocked on the PS5. Well, I have no incentive to play the game again. You know what I'm saying? It's like I thought I was going to get different trophies. But uh, but like I said, I don't like these remasters. And why Horizon Zero Dawn is getting the remaster? Why? Why? It's just a cash cow. We all know the answer is money, 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 money. I'm not buying it no time soon. I probably won't buy it at all. I mean, I have the game on PS4. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't see, unless if it's like a really, really big leap, which I doubt it to be, I just see no reason to do it. If you have this game on PC, which is another reason why I may even do that, i probably even just buy the game on PC when it's like dirt cheap, and I'll probably get the same results. So why are they doing this? This is really dumb. I, in my opinion, I mean, I understand you got people that's going to be out here to eat it up. They're going to buy it. They're going to, you know, think it's the best thing since sliced bread. And then they're going to realize when they play the game, they're going to be like, I'm having fun. Because, you know, that was kind of like the sentiment of everybody who got The Last of Us remake for PS5. Everybody was like so hyped. Like, oh, it's going to be this big of a deal. And they even paying $70. And a lot of people was like, yeah, I'm OK with this. It's okay, man. I mean, we all do this. We as gamers do dumb stuff all the time as far as buying stuff we don't need. Look back here. Oh. I'll fix that later. <laughs> my, my PS5 stuff is just, it was leaning, but nevertheless, 
We all do dumb stuff. I mean, you look back here, my PS5 games, all my other games over here. I have other games over there. I got all of my consoles. We all buy dumb stuff that we don't need to buy. So it is what it is. But at the end of the day, we just have to be really smart about what's going on because they're going to continue this. It all started with Naughty Dog and then The Last of Us and now Horizon Zero Dawn. I would not be surprised we get a, a, a the God of War reboot get to remaster within the next two or three years. I would not be surprised. Nevertheless, I'm going to get up out of here. I got I made a mess. I'm going to clean that up. Hopefully, you like this content. Um, I'm going to be doing a double, you know, not double, but twice a week, twice a month. I'm probably not twice a week, but two times a month. I'm going to be doing a VF cast. So that's pretty much like an update to the actual podcast. I'm going to give you a synopsis of everything that's going on throughout the gaming world twice a week. Oh, I keep saying that twice a month. And uh, also, I'm going to continue to do these videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to get up out of here. I'm all over the place now. I'm actually tired. I need to get up and go to bed and go to work in the morning. And uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, if you made it this far, I thank you. Hit the like, share, subscribe. I'm going to get up out of here. You guys be blessed. Peace.